Hello everyone, Ed Savage here from Savage Media, your go-to channel for the latest in blockchain, tech, and crypto. Now before we dive into the recent news from Flare Networks, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe for more crypto news, and turn on notifications so that you never miss an update from me. So today, we're going to break down this recent news and discuss what it could mean for Flare. Now let's get into it guys. Now for those who are new here, or if it's your first time hearing about Flare, well, Flare Network is a blockchain protocol aiming to bring smart contract functionality to various cryptocurrencies that don't have native support for these features. It's a unique platform blending the power of Ethereum smart contracts with non-ERC20 tokens. Now, if you want to learn more about Flare, I will leave my last video in the description so that you can check it out later. So now let's focus on what happened with Flare Network on December 7th. This was a really important day for them because they took a big step towards making their network more decentralized. They decided to bring in some big players in the industry like Anchor, Figment, Restake, and Northstake. This isn't just a small change, it's a huge step forward in making their network stronger and more spread out. So what does this all mean? So validators are really important in blockchain networks. They are the ones who check and confirm transactions, making sure that everything runs smoothly and securely. By adding these big company validators, Flare is making its network more secure and trustworthy. These new validators also have a special job to provide data that is not centralized. This is super important because it makes the data used in smart contracts reliable and trustworthy, which is especially crucial for financial applications in the blockchain. This recent move by Flare is not just about making their own network better, it's something that could change the way that blockchain networks operate in general. So by using the know-how and resources of these big companies, Flare is making its network more robust and setting a new standard for how data should be handled in the blockchain world. So Hugo Filion, the co-founder and CEO of Flare, said that this move shows that Flare is serious about building a network that is not just advanced in technology, but also strong and spread out from the ground up. So in short, Flare bringing in these validators is more than just adding new members to its network. It's a deliberate strategy to build a network that's completely decentralized and secure, and that can support a wide range of uses, especially in the rapidly growing area of decentralized finance. It's a clear sign that Flare is committed to leading the way in blockchain innovation. So let's break down why Flare's latest move is such a big deal in the world of blockchain. When Flare decided to bring in big name infrastructure providers as validators, it was doing much more than just expanding its team. This decision is changing the way that blockchain networks work, especially in terms of spreading out control and making sure that data is accurate and trustworthy. Decentralization is key in blockchain. It's all about letting the network operate on its own without a single central authority and control. So by adding these new well-known validators, Flare is making its network more varied and bringing in different ways of thinking and working. This is really important for a network to be truly decentralized. Now, the next big thing about this move is how it focuses on keeping data correct and honest. So for blockchain and smart contracts, having good data is crucial. If the data is wrong or tampered with, it can mess up these contracts, especially in areas like decentralized finance, where there's a lot of money involved. So by using these new validators to bring in data from various sources, Flare is making sure that the information used in this network is reliable. So why does it matter to get data from different places? Well, if you only get data from one place, it's hard to really trust it fully. But if your data comes from many different sources, it's less likely to be wrong or manipulated. And this really helps keeping the blockchain system open, clear, and safe from interference. So this update also shows Flare's dedication to creating a great environment for developers. In blockchain, developers are the ones who come up with new ideas and applications. Flare is giving them a more secure and reliable platform to work on, which is especially good for those looking to create complex applications in DeFi. So in short, Flare bringing in these big institutional data providers as validators is not just a minor update, it's a strategic move towards building a network that is more secure, spread out, and friendly for developers. This could set a new standard for the blockchain industry, and it also might encourage other networks to aim for greater decentralization and data reliability. So we're wrapping up here, and looking at Flutter Network's latest moves, it's clear to us that they're making big strides in blockchain. By adding top level validators and rolling out F assets, Flare is not just updating its tech, they're shaping a more advanced and inclusive blockchain world. These steps show how the blockchain space is growing, opening new doors for creating apps, 
and investment opportunities. Now, for those out there that are tech savvy, Flare's platform is a playground for developing new applications. For investors and crypto enthusiasts, these changes bring new angles and chances in DeFi and pretty much the whole crypto space. It's an exciting time here in the blockchain space and Flare is at the forefront of these developments. So thanks for tuning in guys to Savage Media for this update. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Stay with us for more insights into the fast moving world of blockchain and the crypto space. I'm Ed Savage and I'll see you guys in the next one.